InfoWorks 360 lets us add content to our scene to make much more believable and lifelike scenarios. In this case, we're going to start looking at building out our model by adding 3D content from some predefined libraries. Firstly, we're going to look at some city furniture. Now, InfoWorks 360 ships with quite a large library of furniture. We can actually come and add our own information, either through OBJ files, DAEs, or even Google SketchUp and Revit models. So in this case, as a placeholder until we get some final buildings, I've just inserted a building into the scene. Just using manual placement, we're able to move, rotate, and scale the object until we move it into position. Some other types of information we can add to the model. In this case, we're going to add some buildings. Now, the buildings in InfraWorks 360, we simply sketch them out. So we're just going to sketch out the building footprint. And InfraWorks will go and locate it on the surface and extrude it to a, to a nominal height. We can actually come back and change this height by entering edit mode and either selecting the grip at the top and manually moving it up and down or just simply entering a value into the manipulators. New in 2016, we've introduced the concept of land areas. Land areas are very similar to coverages in that you can actually perform some basic shaping of your terrain. With land areas, we simply come and sketch around our shape. As you can see, it's actually giving us an, an updated area on the fly. So once we've sketched out our area, we can then apply a land area style to it. So like coverage areas, we have the ability to edit the vertices of, of these objects. We can delete, we can add, and we can move them all around. So what we're doing here is actually just creating a basic quarry for our site. As we move down, we select our whole object, and we're going to select the Z gizmo and just move it down the approximate height we, need, we require. InfoWorks 360 has gone and shaped the terrain similar as it would a coverage area from previous releases. And you can see the wireframe model there illustrating how it's just smoothly battered back to the natural surface. But where land areas differ from coverages is that we can actually now control the batter slopes at which we daylight back to our existing surface. So on our style palette down on the grading tab we have a series of defaults that ship with the product. In this case we're just going to take a standard stone cut one to one in both directions cut and fill and we're going to take a copy of it I'm just going to call this quarry double click to edit you can see we have some options here we can create fixed slopes on either side we can specify cut and fill materials for the, for the different scenarios in this case we're going to make a 0.25 to 1 cut slope make it nice and steep and we'll have a fill slope of two and a half to one and hit OK we simply drag that style onto our land area and the model updates accordingly. Now in this instance we want to take some of our materials and make some changes to those. We need to actually make them scale a little bit bigger. So we're just going to take a copy of a few of our materials and textures I'm going to take them from a 1 meter texture setting and just increase them by a factor of 10. So back in our coverage areas, we're taking a copy of our grass with gravel border and we're just going to call this quarry. Double click to edit. We're going to remove the, the outline or the border style. And for the actual field style, we're going to use our new 10 meter material texturing. Drag the coverage area onto the land area and the quarry floor as you can see has increased in scale. And we'll repeat the process for the quarry walls in this case just to improve the appearance. We also have the ability of adding another land area within an existing land area and we can start to compound them. In this case, 
we'll apply the same technique as we used before. We're going to edit the land area, drop it by say 20 or so meters, and then simply from the style palette, drag that style across onto the land area.